Uh, I beat off to Mia. What, what's the what's Khalifa? The, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, damn that girl. I, I'm not into it. No? I've never been into like whoever's super popular. Hijab porn. Now the hijab stuff. I don't care about the popularity, obviously. But doesn't she, she has do? Big, she does big goofy titties. She does hijab porn. She'll though. do a couple hijab scenes where it's like her. That's like a like, thing. And first of all, it's a Puerto Rican girl. It's yeah, like yeah. her and, a, and like just. A no, I think Hispanic she's Lebanese. Girl. She's Lebanese, but I mean, it's oh, like yeah, her other like girl. Yeah, two yeah. Muslim girls yeah, yeah. get you know, and they're just sucking guys' dick in hijabs. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> if you're you know. If you're fucking Islamophobic. That's some Charlie Hebdo shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dude. can't really watch... Uh, sorry, guys. I can't really watch commercial... Like, How the fuck has Charlie Hebdo been around so long? Yeah, it's pretty bad. But, yeah, and every one of the... Like, the jokes? Every single week, it's like... Uh, look at our new cartoon. It's a Muslim guy and he's uh, sucking a Jew's dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, it's all right, what do we funny. have for next week? It's, it's like, a satire. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a Jew and he's sucking a Muslim guy's <laughs> dick. <laughs> and then, okay, well, what do we have for the week after that? Um, uh, two Jews <laughs> sucking each other's dicks. <laughs> but their noses are even bigger yeah, this yeah. time. <laughs> uh, but their Jews noses are so big they can't reach the dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a Jew sticking his nose into the ass of uh, Hitler. <laughs> and he, but Hitler is Muslim. <laughs> Hitler is Muhammad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that shit's... It's, it's a like, free speech and very funny. Yeah. It, like... Do you get free speech automatically if that shit just sucks? Like, well, they don't have free speech in France. You, the United they States, don't. Is the only the United States is really the only place where you have like a guaranteed, you know, uh, it's written into the law that we, you know, have a protection for freedom of speech. Other other places, they just have like a an idea of freedom right, of speech, right, right, but right, then right. they can still pass laws that. You can just not do that. Well, shit. they uh, in France they won't let you wear a fucking hijab on the beach. Just yeah. fucked up. Yeah, that's hilarious. They're just like straight up Islamophobic. You need hopefully, to be like a sexy air if you come to the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like a sexy girls out there. It's illegal to not have pussy hair in France. You gotta that's have a true. big bush. I don't know. I think France should get a little bit of break. With like people are like, "Wow, can you believe this? That they questioned that woman in a hijab. They didn't like tell her she couldn't wear it. They just fucking." Checked her I out. thought it's illegal to have hijab. I, you're talking about that picture that was trending on Twitter, right? Well, yeah, there was that, but like, no, it's not even on the beach. I think like you can't go to public schools wearing them, right? They did pass a law at one point. I don't know if it's still law. Is I mean, that still law? Oh uh, yeah, I remember that back so around. I don't like, fucking know anything in, about it. I don't know. Anything, that was like when 9/11 yeah. happened. Fuck France, though. France is gay. I'm glad that we're pretty anti-France on the pod. Although Paris seems nice, dude. You know what? I'm pro-France. I just decided. Because you guys are anti? You swapped on us, bitch? Dude, I had a friend. My friend Eric went, uh, studied abroad in f Paris for a semester in college. You studied abroad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> did she teach him anything? Yeah. Hey, he's fucking old. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. 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 Pussy. Hey. Whoa. About to eat asshole. Whoa! They thought about eating an asshole. Um, <laughs> no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pussy. And like he legitimately thought when he came back that like his opinions on things were partially from the French perspective. <laughs> it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Just like having that sort of an ego about yourself. <laughs> Uh, I could never. I never studied abroad. Yeah, I well, I actually lived in Delaware for six months, so <laughs> I have sort of more of a Delawarean perspective. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Delawareness too. <laughs> you got Delawareness. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you want to talk about race issues, just keep in mind I lived in Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? No. I don't think anyone's ever lived in Delaware. Ian Fidance. Really? He's, He's from, from Delaware. there. Delaware is like a place for like grandparents that don't have a lot of money to retire <laughs> right, to. Yeah. <laughs> you like, can't make it to Florida. Check this out. Waterfront property. <laughs> I got a house. It cost me $22,000. <laughs> yeah. I got a boat that I'll never fix. Half of Delaware, I feel like, is Philly and half of it is Maryland, right? Uh, Basically. Yeah. I mean, half is Philly, half is the beach, I think. Yeah. It's not even really Maryland. It's yeah, it's like, I mean, yeah. all of the all the Mid Atlantic shit. There's that like South Jersey kind of spillover. Yeah, but like a lot of Philly suburbs are in North yes, Delaware. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Wilmington's basically Philly. Philly. Yeah. yeah. And they got no sales tax. Yeah. Yeah, that's why of, all the credit card companies do. Yeah, a lot of companies oh. incorporate there. A Delaware corporation. 
Time to take them down. Yeah, no income tax in Florida and Texas. That's tight. Yeah, imagine if you could combine the two of them to create the greatest state of all time. The greatest tax haven of all time. New Hampshire. <laughs> Live free or die. I love that shit where they're like, you yeah. can't tell me to wear a fucking helmet. Yeah. You fucking piece of well, I just of love shit. the live free or die is their state motto, which is like, you can't go with a cartoon. It's not like New York is like, New York, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not on the license plate. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that was like a Revolutionary War guy who yeah, said that live was free or die. Name. Yeah. yeah it was uh, Voltaire, actually. Was it? No. no. Voltaire? something? No, but Vol Voltaire, Voltaire, I think, is the one that's... uh. I don't uh, uh, agree with what you're saying, but you know the one. Where oh, it's, but I, I to defend to, your I'll right. I'll defend to the death yeah, your right, right to say, to say it. it. Yeah, that was Voltaire, right? No, he yeah. said uh, Mr. Potro. That was Mr. Mussolini. It was Benicio Mussolini? Yeah. No, he kept the train. It was <laughs> Anton Chigurh from yeah. No Country for Old Men. <laughs> don't put it in your pocket, where it will become just a coin. <laughs> Yeah, Oops. that was a fucked up character. Yeah, but that guy he was, was messed up. up. Look, yeah. he had a bad haircut. He ain't got. And he's kill pissed that off lady. at the whole damn world because of it. <laughs> you know, it's like just go back to supercuts <laughs> and get them to fix it. <laughs> Don't have to go around killing people. <laughs> just get a better haircut. Problem solved. You ask me. That movie could have been five minutes long if you let me direct it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're listening to John's movie review. <laughs> okay, Star Wars. Problem number one. It's his dad. Just call him up. Sort it out. You don't have to kill all those people. Remake the movie. It's two and a half minutes long. He just loves Bing, short bang, movies. Boom. He wants yeah, every yeah. movie to be short. His biggest problem with movies is the length. <laughs> I ain't got time to watch all these fucking movies. I gotta do the lawn. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Wizard of Oz. Just wake up, stupid. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. You're having a dream. You're seeing... It, it's a talking line. Why do you think you're awake still? <laughs> you know, you know. when I'm having... I'm taking a nap at work. I'll start dreaming something ridiculous. I'll, okay, I'm dreaming. I know. <laughs> why Why was so, Why did so many fucking movies just end with like think people waking up? Which is such an easy device. I don't think a lot of things. Well, Dick Van Dyke, famously. Yeah. Wizard of Oz. Home Improvement. Home Improvement. Yeah, with him, yeah. Like, him coming to after be, while being, being raped. raped in prison. Yeah. That's where the noise yeah, came from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was the noise he made while he was being <laughs> just pummeled <laughs> by Fuck, a man. different kind of football. I hope I don't ever go to jail. 